Charlie says good morning too. Say good morning, Charlie. If you don't, you, if you can't tell in the video, he's the most handsome cat in the whole world. I just, I woke up this morning. I'm going yard sailing, um, and I looked into my Poshmark app to print a label under my sales. Do you know you can do that? You don't need to uh, go to um, the email. You go to my sales, click on the item download shipping label. That's what I tend to do. And I had sold a shirt yesterday. I actually had a really good day yesterday. Um, and so I went in and I saw another sale that I had not gotten a notification for. And it was a full price, that's right, full price sale of Justin Boots. So then comes the, uh-oh, how am I packing these things? So I decided to do a very pretty quick hack video on how to ship something like that. Um, I didn't think about it until after it's packed, so I'm gonna show you the box, which, is, which I'm getting ready to take to the post office. This is a, a gaming box. So I'm going to be back a little bit later to show you how to ship boots like this. They were too long to go into uh, the large flat rate box and both the gaming box and the shorter medium sized um flat rate box well the, the medium was too was also too short um the gaming box was too narrow so i widened it how does that look i will be back with how to do it don't go anywhere i'm going to do my best to show this to you excuse me in a way it's clear um i don't have anyone else here to hold the camera while i do it so uh, but it's a very easy concept. And it's a concept you can use on different boxes in different ways once you figure out what it is. All right, so here's the game box. If you sell on Poshmark, as you know, we get free uh, priority supplies. I say free because it's included in the price. It's like when you list something with free shipping, the shipping isn't free, you're paying for it, you've added it to the cost of the goods, which is why I get very aggravated when people openly admit to misusing these and encourage others to do the same. Um, besides the fact that it's a, I believe, federal offense, um, it's just wrong. We have enough reasons for prices to go up all the time and misuse is another one. Eventually, mark my words, you heard it here, we will not have access to this. Canadians don't have it at all and are super jealous. So we need to, you know, treat it responsibly. Anyway, okay, so as you can see, uh, I use the lines that are on here as a guide. It just makes things easier. But let me open it up for you. Oh, and you can pick, you can't really pick these up at the um, post office. They won't have them out. It's possible if you ask for it, they may have it. But I order it on usps.com. It's very long. This is how wide it is. Whee! And it went flying. Um, and this is, so not really enough room for boots. Okay, so I used this side first. This is where the line is to fold it. And I scored it on this. So you just take a ruler or you can do it freehand. Except, of course, I, I dropped my, oh, there it is, box cutter. Just go like that and run your box cutter along it. Okay, so I'm going to do that right now real quick. It just depends how, you know, how, how you want to alter it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Anytime you score a box, you're going to run this so that it goes through, but not all the way through, because you don't want it to be so weak that it's going to uh, rip open. Though if it does, you can just tape it up. Okay, so I did that on this side, and I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna do it on this side. So this line is, this, is equidistant to the area that has the fold as this one is. Um, you can always measure it or eyeball it. If it's off a little bit, it still works. I'm going to score that. Score. Box cutters are fantastic. I have quite a few of them. I had once ordered something in my other job, and they 
sent me my order and somehow there were like 10 box cutters in there and they said oh we will um we will send for them or else you can keep them and they never sent for them so i kept them um but be careful i did drop one on my toe from like hot standing up it went straight down into my toenail it took over a year before that before that was completely resolved okay so now you're going to bend it at the score so this is where the natural bend is you're going to bend it on the scored line Ta -da. that's the scored line right there you can see it it you know it got cut deeper there than it did at the other ends but not too deep. Now I'm going to do the other side. Just bend it at the scored line. And poof! Now it's this big. Or wide, or whatever. You can cut this here. Let me get some scissors. Just cut it down to the fold. And that will go in there. And then we do the other one. That goes in there. And there it is. Still has the still has the tape on this one, so you can still tape it. I tend to reinforce these um, and that's it so for my boots this was longer than I wanted it to be so I did a similar thing I scored it here and then all the way around and then I cut down to the score and I folded it over and you can trim it if you want to so that is an easy way to take these boxes and make it fit a tall pair of Justin boots you can do a similar thing with any kind of box. Score it and it will fold on the score. All right, I hope that helped you. I'll see you on the next video, which will be a haul video. This is uh, an unusual video for me, but I thought as I was doing it, let me share it. Someone might not know. Bye.